Where are we? We are in the fine city of Carlo. Uh, and why are we in Carlo? We are in Carlo because this is our four year anniversary. What? 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 I don't know. It's a bit ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're not just in Carlo for our fourth year anniversary for no reason. We that doesn't make sense. We are in the shining city of Carlo because we are going to see what is going to be probably one of the best comic movies of the year. Thor Ragnarok. Justice League. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a difference of opinion. No, we don't. It is Thor Ragnarok. It's Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> We're not okay. wasting our money on Justice League. I do. I've heard it's okay. I've also, yeah, like even the people who said they didn't like it didn't wow. say it was awful. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's it. That's the start. This is the beginning of the vlog. This this is a beginning. Shout out to the Slender Man who without we yeah. would have never met. Yeah, we met because of the Slender Man. We met um, because of the Slender Man. So like if if you're if you're single and, and you're looking to get into a relationship, like a long term lasting one. Cause like we're getting married in like three months. Um, go find the Slender Man. <laughs> he, he'll he'll hook you up. What up, slums? So I'm not sure what a Borg blanket is, but it makes me uneasy about wrapping it around me anytime, especially at night when I'm sleeping. It just feels like. You don't want to envelop yourself in something called Borg. Just no. Become part of the collective. Woo. <laughs> so we have seen the oh. Ragnarok. <laughs> the Ragnarok. Thar Ragnarok. Ragnarok. That's not how you say it. Yes, it is. Shut up. Anyway, I am gay. For both. <laughs> Kate Blanchett and the actress who played Valkyrie. Tessa Thompson. Tessa Thompson. Yeah. God bless. We are to be held. Behold. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm really gay for both of them because it was some good shit. I thought it was a good movie. It was um, a good movie. Shout out to uh, Led Zeppelin for. Immigrant Song. For Immigrant Song. That was. Choice. I thought maybe more so towards the start than through the rest of the movie it was a little bit too jokey towards the start I thought just a little bit but, but like it kind of simmered down through the rest of it and became like you know more ba more well balanced yeah and um yeah hell no body there's, there's we, we didn't see Hella's body. <laughs> no spoilers or anything. Oh yeah, um, spoilers. Um. <laughs> but yes, there was. There was nobody. So. There was nobody for Hella's Hella, not dead. So. <laughs> She's not dead. She's not dead. <laughs> Do you need help? No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, Thor's new haircut looks good. I like the, the, the one eye thing. Yeah, symbolism. <laughs> Thanos' ship is gigantic. Take a Waititi as Korg. It was pretty funny. That was, that was really great. Was that great. was a nice touch. It's good. It's good shit. I do, as much as I like the movie, and as much as I understand why they had to do it, I do slightly resent the use of the World War Her Planet Hulk storyline, especially with the, the, the war band, like, like Miek or Meek or however you pronounce his name, as a joke, because I love Planet Hulk and I'd have loved a, a proper Planet Hulk movie, but I can understand why they did it. And yeah, I guess it's the closest we're gonna get. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum attained peak Goldblum. That was his final form. It was. 
Um, and that is how he's going to dress for the rest of eternity. We can only hope. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get your fucking face in frame. Oh. It was like, focus on your chest. Okay. Come here. Oh, well, you've probably been watching our chests <laughs> for the past little while. Oh, well. It. What we said about it was still, you know, we pretty do, valid. We can do voiceover stuff. No, it's fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. gonna be fine. Maybe I should put flames behind it. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. It's fine. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even though I didn't really like World War Hulk getting, you know, watered down like that, or Planet Hulk getting watered down like that, still, it, it served the movie well, it and did. it was well done. It was. Valkyrie was a badass. She was. <laughs> um, I, all right, I read this thing, uh, an article by a, um, I think she was a Maori woman, uh -huh. who was talking about, like, all of the all of the oceanic um, influences and how it felt like a story from the, the perspective of um, New Zealand and Australian indigenous people. And yeah, I could totally see it. I could absolutely see it. Yeah, you can kind of pick up on them with... With, with, with Valkyrie and, oh, what was the woman's name who was working for Jeff Goldblum? I don't think they actually gave her to you. Yeah, but you could see it with her as well. And um, Hulk's casual wear. Yeah, and the, the paint on him. He, he actually looked quite, like, physique-wise. I think they changed Hulk's physique a bit for they this movie. They changed his face. Yeah, he looked kind of like someone had taken one of the 3D models from Moana and, and just made it <laughs> angrier and greener. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I appreciated, um, kind of. I, I, I liked that. Um, but yeah, and staying true to Jack Kirby's vision, artistic vision. It and was so 80s. It was so very it was 80s. So 80s. But it was also so Kirby. Like, you haven't seen much Jack Kirby. I have not. So, I'll show you a load when we get home. But it was good. It was good. Definitely the best Thor movie. A plus. And definitely the best on-screen representation. No, the best on-screen tribute to the work of Jack Kirby I have ever seen. Also, it was a good date. Yeah. <laughs> Come here.